Are you new to Blocks Roots? Do you want to know how to get fruit easy and fast? Well, you have come to the right video. <coughs> hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to get fruit in the first sea. There are four main methods to get fruit in the first sea that I'll be going over in this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into it. So as I was saying, there are four main ways to get fruit and I'll be going over all of them in this video. First way to get fruit is by buying them from the Blocks Fruit dealer. He always has a random assortment of fruit. You can buy the fruit whenever you like by just going to the box Fruit dealer. There's one here. Let's just see uh, what's in stock. Kilo and Spin will always be in stock, but I don't recommend getting them at all. Chop is all right, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not anything great. Smoke's in stock and Flame's in stock. Anything else? Nope. So out of this stock, I'd recommend buying either Smoke or Flame. The stock changes every four hours, so make sure to check in. Hold on, before we go any further, I need to tell you a couple things to look out for. So for fruit, you're going to want to look out for Logia fruit. Logia fruit include smoke fruit, flame fruit, ice fruit, sand fruit, dark fruit, light fruit, magma fruit, rumble fruit, and blizzard fruit. I'm not entirely sure how dough works, but sometimes it works like a Logia. If you get it, you could still eat it. It's pretty good. Some other good farming fruits are venom fruit, shadow fruit, and Buddha fruit. The best ones out of all of those are Awakened Human Buddha. You can awaken fruit in the second or third C. Check my video at the top right of the screen if you are in second or third C to awaken a fruit. Awakened Magma and Awakened Light or Venom. Unawakened Magma and Light are still really good for farming. So if you get any of them, make sure to eat them. Some other things to do is to store your fruit as soon as you get them so that if you die, they don't get lost forever. Look out for legendary and mythical fruit. These are really rare. You can tell how rare they are by looking at their rarity while stored. You go to menu and then items, double uh, click on all and go to treasure. Then it will show you what fruit you have. Saving fruit, especially expensive fruit, can help you trade for better ones later on. That's when you unlock trading in the second and third C. All right, so continuing on, the second way to get fruits is by buying one from the Blocks Fruit Garcha. Blocks Fruit Garcha in the first C is over there at the jungle. Here is the Blocks Fruits Garcha. This NPC gives you a random fruit for a price dependent on your level. You need to be at least level 50 to talk to him and buy a random fruit. The random fruit you can buy has a cooldown of two hours. So make sure if you can to buy one every two hours to get the best fruit possible. Now for a level 50 player, a fruit would cost around 32,000 cash. Pretty easy to get. Now when you're buying a fruit, make sure that your PVP is disabled. To do that, you die to someone else, like a player on the playlist, so that when you go to buy a fruit and you get a fruit, someone can't kill you and you lose it. As I was saying before, make sure to store the fruit. The third method is finding fruit around the map. Every hour a fruit spawns. Fruit spawn under completely random trees. Like for example, a fruit could spawn under this tree right now but it's not going to because there's a lot of trees around the map. You'll have to be very lucky in order to find a fruit under a tree. This is probably the hardest of the four methods in this video. The final method is to beg for fruit. This can be a little annoying to other players, but it is pretty good to do. Begging for fruit is when you stand around the Blocks Fruit Garcha and ask players to spin you a fruit. Some people who are nice enough may just buy you a random fruit, which lets you get one pretty early on. This combined with buying a random fruit every two hours will make for the best success in order to get a good fruit. By begging and asking people if they could buy me one, someone bought me a random one and I got flame, which is one of the Logia fruits, which is one of the best for farming. This guy's got light. 
If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.